Patrick Jackson reflects on 10 years of energy savings at Corning, and three members of his team highlight key initiatives. More than 10 years ago, Corning's Global Energy Management Program, or GEM as we like to call it, was formed to help Corning cut back on its energy use. It originated as one of Corning's first performance excellence projects. We began by forming an overall strategy for GEM. The first focus area was reducing energy use in our facilities. Then we moved to manufacturing process improvements. Last year, we engaged the research and development community to reduce energy as they develop products and processes. Our final and most difficult focus area is to work with our customers and our suppliers to reduce energy in the value chain, all while maintaining the progress we've made. We're thrilled that these efforts won Corning the Energy Star Partner of the Year Award in 2014, followed by another win in 2015. And we announced our third consecutive win, this time earning sustained excellence, a status only a handful of companies receive and are able to maintain. Since its inception, GEM has produced more than $421 million in savings for Corning. We're very proud of the work and the results achieved by energy teams across the company. Here's what a couple of them have accomplished. One of my responsibilities is to train new division sites on Corning's energy policies. Currently, we have more than 80 energy team members across 17 locations, and we continually improve our energy efficiency. In fact, our energy project saved over $1 million in 2014 and 2015. With one project, we made a $64,000 investment in a refrigerant oil additive at our Reynosa facility to reduce friction, which resulted in an 11% energy reduction and $126,000 in savings. Looking ahead, life sciences will concentrate on LED lighting upgrades, water reduction projects, and metering and building maintenance system installations to better determine where we need to direct future efforts. My site energy teams and I regularly discuss project ideas and work together to implement them. Our Canton team is especially good at weaving energy savings into already existing projects and recently worked on heat recovery in the forming process. They're using the burner cooling water to preheat incoming air, reducing both electrical and natural gas usage. They're conscious of energy efficiency opportunities in projects and pull those projects forward so we can capture the energy savings as a division. What I like most about being involved with GEM, aside from winning great awards like the Energy Star Partner of the Year, is seeing my team succeed on projects they implement. Our people volunteer their time because they have a passion for saving energy and I get energized by their success. One of our most innovative projects at Diesel has been to use a special kind of peat moss to clean our cooling towers. Using moss instead of chemicals eliminates potential safety and environmental hazards and substantially reduces the overall facility water use, meeting the GEM water reduction goal. It's a win-win project that other businesses plan on implementing. I'm even using the peat moss at home in my hot tub instead of chemicals. I've also recently installed solar panels on my garage roof as part of my personal effort to reduce my footprint. I try to bring that mindset to work with me every day. Being part of GEM has helped me realize that I have an opportunity to make tremendous changes that will have a lasting effect on Corning's longevity. By keeping our eyes on efficiency measures and minimizing the impact of our operations, GEM can help ensure that Corning is around for another 160 years.